Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix critical process died blue screen error on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So you might be getting a blue screen on your computer that says your PC ran into a problem and need to restart. We are just collecting some error info and then we will restart for you. So there can be two different scenarios. Number one, if you are able to come to your desktop, if you can see all of your desktop feature, then what you need to do, you have to click on your search box and type here reset. Then choose reset this PC from the suggestion. And here you will see an option of advanced startup. So you need to click on restart now. And then again restart now. And now this will be coming up with the advanced option here. So this is exactly where we need to come. But in case if you are not able to come to your desktop and not able to use any feature, then what you have to do on your laptop or on your PC, press and hold the power button until the computer gets shut down. Once it gets shut down, you have to restart again by pressing the power button. And after that, as soon as you see the logo of Windows on your screen, again you need to press and hold the power button to force shut down. The same you have to do three times. And after that, again when you will restart your computer, it will be coming up with the advanced options and you will be getting this screen where you will see all such kind of options all right in case if you do not do make sure that you follow the steps carefully all right so once you come up here you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then first you have to try by clicking on startup repair so click on startup repair and see that if this fix the problem and if not then again you need to come to the same options and choose command prompt the black window will be coming up now here you have to run few command that you will be getting in the description and even in the at the bottom of the screen so the first command will be boot rec space forward slash fix mbr hit enter and then you have to type boot rec space forward slash fix boot again hit enter now in case if you get access is denied, no problem, you can proceed with the next command. Now type boot secct space forward slash nt60 space sys. Hit enter. And after that you have to type boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Hit enter. And the next one will be boot rec space forward slash rebuild. Hit enter again and now you have to type sfc space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Now this command will be taking some time because it will be scanning all kind of PC and uh, system file to find any kind of integrity violation. So you just need to wait until this is 100% completed. Once done the last command will be chk dsk space c and then the colon sign. Hit enter. Now this will be also taking some time. So wait until this is 100% or finally completed. And then finally you have to restart the computer. All right. So now you can close the command prompt. And then click on continue. So now what will happen that if there was any infection with the uh, disk with any uh, hard drive issue, then that will be resolved. And I'm very sure that it will be coming up with the update or finally with the login screen and there will be no blue screen coming up on your screen so if this works for you guys please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and still if you have any problem any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye